Hey everyone, I'm Nico here. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to make rock paper scissors game in Android Studio. And now I'm just showing this XML layout of my uh, splash screen of this game. This splash screen is very simple as you can see. It consists of a logo and name. It's my name. So now let's move to Java code. As you can see, this is the Java code. It's a simple Java code for this splash screen. This is the only portion I have written. All the other code will come when we create the new activity. So now let's move to the game part. So this is the game intent. This intent consists of four buttons and some text views as you can see. At the top we have rock paper scissors text view and afterwards I created two other text views to show the score and afterwards I have created this name label. For this name label I have also created an intent to move to the YouTube page of mine. If you click on it, it is going to be redirected to my YouTube channel. After the name label, we have another text view. And of course, this is also a text view. I just call it name label because it shows my name, that's it. And next to the text view, we have three vertical lines. These are not vertical lines. These are also text views. I just made empty because it want to show when we click on a button. So it works like that I'm going to show you a video how this thing is going to work so let's move on to the next one that is the photo these photos will be appeared on the screen when we click any one of these buttons I just downloaded few photos and I added to this let me now show you the photos so these are the photos this one is the paper photo and next one is a rock and this is the scissors photo and this one is kind of an icon thing as you can see this is the same one so now as you can see here we have the reset button when we press on this reset button or when we touch the reset button it is going the scores over here are going to be resetted and it shows some uh, how many times you played like that and then you can play the game once again so that is how this game works and after that it will also show that who won the game so as I said, I will show you the video, but for now, let's just move to the Java code. So this is the Java code and I want to show you this one, that, that is this, I imported this random package because we can click on rock or paper or scissors button, but for the computer, it is not going to do anything like that. So how the computer is going to select a random rock or paper or scissors? So it lies over here. From this random module, we are going to import the random module and after that, we are going to pick any one of the three numbers that we have selected and each of the number is going to represent rock and paper and scissor. So that is how the computer is going to represent rock and paper and scissors. So that is the essence of this random module from Java library. So now let's move on to the other code and here we have created four methods as you can see and this done method is going to represent a reset button and this scissors paper and rock methods is going to represent the respective buttons and when we click those buttons this code is going to be executed now over here we are going to do a simple trick that is when we click on a particular button the particular image should be appeared on the screen all the other images should be invisible so how that can be achieved means here we are going to animate that image and we are going to set that alpha of the image that we don't want to show as 0 the alpha of the button that we wanted to show on the screen is going to be set as 1 so that is how we can do the trick and also we are going to display what we have clicked on the screen this statement over here is going to play a subtle sound when we click on the button and you can also figure out what we have done in these methods also because they are all same and when we click on reset button, the computer should say something that we won the game, that game is tired, something like that. So to do that, we have implemented a method over here. As you can see, this method basically does that thing. And this web page method is basically going to redirect us to Nikhil Tech YouTube page. That's it. So now we have reached to this rock paper scissors class. And this is the core of this game because it will contain all of the functionalities of this game and as you can see these are the methods which are going to return a string that will be shown on the screen that we see and these are all the same 
and this done method is going to return a string to the uh, done method above this class and that will be showing on the screen uh, like that we have won the game or tie or something like that next we have this done method over here this done method is going to do all the computation that we just wanted to show on the screen and this is the tie if case because the entered and the random thing both are same means it is a tie as you know and next we have one means rock two means paper three means scissors so by seeing it you can figure it out so these are all the same and it is also going to return a string to the method above this class and now i just want to show you that how i remove this top bar and change the color of this one so first of all i'm going to show how i remove the top bar so for that you need to go to this project and click on this app and go to res and i created this raw folder to store audio files as you can see but to change that you need to go to this values and click on this styles over here and then we need to change this to no action bar whatever you have in here only from dot to here we need to change to no action bar so that is how we can achieve that and also as you can see i changed the color of this one by clicking on it and i can choose now any color so that is how i did i can select to 90 or 100 something like that so that is how it works so now i'm going to show you how to download the source code of this app to download the source code you need to go to this url i'll keep this link in description and afterwards you need to click on these three dots if you can't see these three dots then you need to click on this fork button over here it is not there for me but if you can see the fork button over here you just click on it and click on these three dots and click on download as zip it is just a small file it is going to be downloaded in no time now let's go to downloads and create a new folder keep this into the new folder and click extract over here and as you can see this main.java is not needed you can go to this one and also included this apk so if you want to install my game on your phones means you can do that by going to the src main and java and go into that you can see all the files that are needed to make this game as you can see so now i'm going to play a video how this a game is going to work so watch it you won the game Die. Computer won the game. You won the game. So that's for guys. I'll talk to my next video. Subscribe to like to watch more videos like this. If you like this video, click the like button. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.